Have you ever come across something so cheap you just had to buy it? Not too long ago I found this microphone on Amazon for $15. It's a large diaphragm condenser and I had to see if it was any good. There's no bells and whistles, it's got an XLR input, you can't change the gain on the microphone, and there's no pattern selection, but it did come with a shock mount. And I've been using this for a little while now, and I'm pleasantly surprised it's what I'm recording this video with. But this video is not a microphone review, and I'd say the main thing this microphone has going for it is convenience. And I saw a video that inspired me to make it more convenient by taking an Ikea lamp and modifying it into a boom stand. I'll put a link to the video below. Of course, after I made the video I decided to look on Amazon and I found out that I could buy a boom stand that looked almost identical with the microphone attachment already built in. But where's the fun in that? So the first step is some mild disassembly taking out the screws, pulling out the power cord, and to keep things neat, I like to use a hard drive magnet, and all the screws stay in one place. Now on the business end of this boom, there is this little bracket here that you can take out, and I think this is where the microphone mount needs to be attached to. Fortunately, I remembered that I had this little adapter lying around. I think it's been in this box for quite a few years. And this project definitely, if nothing else, has convinced me to continue on never throwing anything away. So it doesn't fit by itself, but it's a pretty close fit to the adapter. which means it's perfect time for some gratuitous spark footage. They're so pretty. Anyway, after the cut, I just cleaned off the edges a little bit with a file. And there it is. I didn't want to damage the threads on the adapter, so I put it into the shock mount holder. And it was just a little too small, so I'm going to drill it. I wrapped the adapter in some cloth and put it into the clamp. Sprayed a little bit of WD-40 to help that cut go smoothly. And it was just a small amount of material that had to come out. fits. I'm going to do some glue, just super glue I think will be enough for this project, so before I put the glue in I want to rough up that surface. Starting with a flesh tube. And this isn't rocket surgery, so we'll just dab some glue on there and Get it done. Finally, I just need to reassemble the shock mount, mount the boom arm onto my desk, and put the little business end back in. And this will work for other mics too, not just this cheap $15 mic. I did try it with my more expensive large diaphragm condenser, but it's a lot heavier and as you can see this is a little droopy. I think it's just about the right weight with this cheapo mic. And now I can swing the microphone in and out of position and it makes recording audio for videos a lot easier. So, if you like this video, subscribe, do the things. Thanks.